This video will probably show you something that you didn't know you could do, and that is create what are called hotspots. Oh and so in the file before you, you will see that there is one single image. There is a horsey, yeah. and a moo cow, yeah. and a lamb, yeah. and a pig, yeah. and a goat, yeah. and a goose, yeah. and a rooster. Yeah. Now I would like to be able to click each one of those and have them do something different. So right now you probably go, well, all I can do is mark that image and make the whole image be a link to whatever. But au contraire, Bon Ami, oh, oh, oh. you can do so much more with the help of your friend, the hotspot. So what we're gonna do is I want to make this pig be a link. So right now I click on it and it just marks the whole picture or nothing. But if I go to my properties window and I go to, uh, and I make sure that that big picture is marked and I go to the lower left corner, you'll see something called map. And down here is an arrow tool, a square tool, a circle tool, and then a polygon hotspot tool. Each of these are hotspots tools. Um, doing a square is quite simple, as is a circle. You just grab the tool and you just draw a box and instantly you have a part of that image that you can now attach a link to. Now, if I was just had one animal in here, that would probably be just fine, but I wanna have each one of those animals be their own separate hotspot. No so way. I'm gonna delete that rectangle shape and the circle is gonna be the same problem. But if I go to the polygon tool, and click on that, and then that gives me this little cross symbol. Now to make this shape, all I do is click wherever I want a point, kind of similar to a vector path. I'm gonna click and click, and just as I move around, this will start to create the shape. Now I don't need to be too crazy. This doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. And if you're worried about that ugly blue shape that is going around the little pig here, yeah. don't because that will end up being transparent. Uh, this is just so we can see what we're doing here in design view. Okay, coming towards the end here. I always get a little pickier with this than I really should. I just can't help myself. It's who I am. It's how I'm made. Nerd. Okay, so that seems pretty good to me. That's pretty close to the pig shape we need to get. Now, if I felt I had to adjust these points, I can go down and get the arrow tool, and I click away to unmark all the path, and then just click on the edge of the path, and I can drag these individual points uh, wherever, wherever I need them to go. So again, you don't need to be too crazy. Nobody's gonna go right to the very edge of his ear and say, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I can click that. Um, and if they do, they really shouldn't be using your website because they're just a little too tightly strung. What? Um, so here we go. So here we have the pig. How do we do this? I don't know. Well, it's quite easy. All we do is make sure that that hot spot is marked. And uh, as a matter of fact, while that is marked, let me bring you down into the code and you will see exactly what is going on here. So let me switch to code view. And so when I started clicking, the first thing it did was it created a use map in my containing image. And then it created a new selector called map. And inside of there, it has an area. It defines the type of shape of the map as being polygon. And then these are each of the coordinates. And so every click gives me another coordinate that is defining that shape to the browser. So the browser knows exactly where to put it. Uh, down here, it gives me an empty href, uh, but if I was gonna have this link to another page, then I could just put my link right into there and done. Oh. But I wanna do something a little bit different here. I want to show you how to use this in conjunction with what we've been uh, doing in class. And so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to the behaviors window and I'm gonna go ahead and make this open up a new browser window. So click on the plus sign, pull down to open browser window. And then this, I want to open up another page which I've already created called oink. 
And I would like the width and size of this page to be 600 pixels wide and 450 pixels tall. Um, as I've mentioned before, you really don't want to mark any of these except maybe this one, because uh, this will just add a whole bunch of stuff to your window that you just don't need. And uh, that's it. I'm going to click OK. That will open up this behavior right here. And uh, you'll notice it's added to the code down here. So what I don't want to do is have this open on mouse over, which is currently what is set. So I'm going to click to change this. And I'm going to have this be on click, which is right up at the top. That's changed. We're good. And now I can save my file. And let's preview this. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's see what happens. I'm rolling over everything else. No little pointy hand until I get over the pig. Click and voila. There is the new browser window opening up, giving us a preview of what the next video is going to show you.